What's up everyone, it's your boy Rash Balash back at it again with another video and we're doing another follow-up to that last repair for my NZXT H1. NZXT has sent out another uh, kit for uh, resolving all the issues with the PCIe riser, basically lighting up your house. In the last video, we saw that they sent two screws that were basically made out of resin or plastic. This time they actually sent a whole new PCIe riser, that's what's inside of this box. I don't know exactly what the process of repairing it is yet, but we're about to find out, so let's open this up and then we'll basically get right to it. I'm about to play Smash. Trying to get some cash. <laughs> I'm gonna get a rash. Hey, it's Rash Balash. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have in here. So, I already opened up this tab to be honest. Sick. Another package on the inside, as well as some instructions. So, here's the NZXT H1 repair kit. So, here's what it comes with inside. Alright, it says we're going to need a Phillips uh, screwdriver, there is a PCIe riser card inside, and it looks like that's the only thing we're going to need. First off, we have two little screws, maybe those are to replace those uh, resin ones that we replaced earlier, and then the actual PCIe riser itself. So let's take a look at this. So this is the end that's going to go to your motherboard, and then this is the end that's going to go to your graphics card. You can tell first off it's the actual slot for it and it has this clip. Alright so now we need to actually get access to the PCIe riser over here. Um, so first off I'm just going to remove the front panel. Okay, and I'll set that aside. Then we have to remove the back panel. That wasn't good. Okay, another precaution I'm just going to take is actually turning off the power supply back here, so I put that on the O. And now we have access to the GPU, um, so now we're going to have to take this out. Now removing this GPU in particular has always been a little bit more difficult than usual just because it's so massive and barely fits in the case. Um, but here's what I have to do, first I have to remove these two screws that hold the graphics card to the uh, slot. Uh, for the input output and then I'm going to unclip it here and then we can get access to the PCIe riser and remove that. So I'm going to grab a Phillips head screwdriver so that I can do that and we'll actually need that for the further steps after that. First let me remove these two screws. Alright, got that out. Now I need to disconnect the PCIe power. So that's one. Two. Okay, now I can remove the GPU. So I'm going to press down that clip. Alright, there we go. It's out. So here we have access to the PCIe riser. Here you can see the cable. Here is the actual um, port for it. Um, and then here's where it connects to the motherboard. So I'm going to disconnect it from the motherboard just by pressing down this tab. Okay, so that's out. Now I need to remove the screws that hold it down to the case so that we can remove that. Okay, so the two screws that actually keep this PCIe riser in place were those two screws that we replaced last time. Uh, so it's these two resin ones. So I'm gonna remove those again. So I'll start off down here. Keep in mind there is a nut on the back that you can just use to unscrew as well. And now I should be able to push out this first one. Now I just uh, grab this PCIe riser out. Alright, so now that we have the old PCIe riser cable out, I'm going to take the new one and I'm going to place this one in. I'm first going to plug it into the motherboard. So I'm going to take this cover off. Let me slide this in through here. Here's where it's going to connect into the motherboard. Make sure you have this slot down, this clip, and then you should just be able to slide it in. All right, there we go. Mine clipped in. Looks like it's good to go. So now we can bring our attention back over here where the uh, PCIe riser is going to screw in. As you notice, they did send um, some new screws, so we're going to end up using those. Okay, so we have the um, PCIe riser slot um, lined up so now we have to actually screw it in. Okay so to screw it in we're gonna take those two screws that came in 
And apparently this is all you're gonna end up using. You're not gonna use any bolts like they sent um, last time. Um, so I guess this is all we're gonna be using. So open that up. Here we have the two screws and I'm just gonna line up the first one on the top. Okay, so I have the PCIe riser secured. Everything looks fine. It looks like the cable's a little bit longer, it's sticking out a little bit more here, but that'll be fine. It's gonna get um, pressed down by my GPU anyways, which speaking of, let me get that back in. All right, everyone, so we finally have the GPU back in and the PCIe, uh, PCIe riser is in there and it looks good to me but there's only one way to find out. So before I put the case and everything back on, I'm just gonna plug in the power and the HDMI and everything and see what happens. All right, so we got it. Everything's working perfectly. Um, no issues whatsoever with the PCIe riser, no uh, flames up in my house. And uh, everything looks good. Uh, I can't see any issues with it. Now, for now, I'm going to actually keep the old PCIe riser. I'm gonna just put it in the box that my case came in. And I think it might be just a good idea for people to do that in general if they didn't have any issues with it, just in case something happens to this and they need to use it while um, they get another replacement or something happens. I don't know. Uh, but just in case, uh, I'm just going to keep it. But, I mean, better to use the new one than the old one. Um, so yeah, that was uh, everything that I had there. I hope this was somewhat helpful, somewhat informative, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is the best day of my life. I met Rush Velasco, the really famous YouTuber.